What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Stella, aka STLA, aka Faye Backshot, baby. I hope that each and every one of you are having a very blessed and a beautiful day, and that you are saying kind of things to yourself and to others. Before I jump into this reading, I want to go ahead and thank all of my new subscribers and all of my returning subscribers for once again letting me tune in and tap into your energy. I greatly appreciate and love each and every one of you. And without further ado, my beautiful Cancerians, let's go ahead and jump Cancer. right in. The message that I got for you today was patience, 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 and a strong focus on the new moon in Virgo. Okay, so, and the last thing, okay, the new moon is on the 6th, right? Let me go ahead and say that before we get into the last message, which was get together, okay? Get it together, like get yourself organized, get yourself ready, right? Which is Virgo energy to the T. Virgos are very organized. They're very articulate they are very well informed they're very educated you know they like to be a perfectionist okay so that's the energy that we're getting for this new moon in virgo is getting ourselves in alignment getting ourselves organized letting go of the things that do not serve us right so patience 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 be kind on yourself okay and the number six is also very important as it is the number of love in numerology okay so you could be getting new love i know that in all of our readings cancer you have been having a lot of love come up so this relationship that you're in if you are in a relationship is a long-term relationship right okay so it could even be the relationship with yourself or some of you, right? Your career is what I'm seeing here, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords coming out, right? And at the top, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this new moon energy could be making you feel a little bit introverted. It could be causing you to feel like you're not getting enough sleep at night, right? Tossing and turning, losing your mind just a little bit, right? It feels like maybe you have like a headache, like a head cold, some tension up here, some confusion, a lot of indecision about things that you want to let go of, things that you don't want to let go of, things that you want to hold on to and bring into this next chapter. Overall, though, we have the wheel energy, which is great energy to have here, okay? So this is all about our paradigms, getting into paradigms that serve us, getting out of paradigms that don't. These are cycles that we don't want to repeat and things that we want to see come to fruition in our reality. We have the four of swords with the ten of wands coming out next, both of which are in reverse here. So again, feeling this indecision energy feeling very torn feeling very indecisive about what it is that you want to bring into this next chapter overall i feel like there's a strong emphasis here on just giving yourself a break being very patient with yourself like we discussed earlier this patience energy is very very important not making any quick rational movements not putting so much pressure on yourself like this could be why you're having the pressure manifest in your head is because you're trying to be so go 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 and you're not giving yourself the patience to manifest what it is that you're actually desiring right you're you're just kind of like trying to get some shortcuts here is what it feels like so cancer just be really gentle on yourself here because i do feel like you're not very balanced at this point in time and this is very critical for you okay so if you're not drinking water you need to be drinking water you are a water sign this is extra vital for your health in particular okay so make sure that you're staying hydrated you know make sure you're taking some baths some moon baths some Espum salt baths, some ritual baths, whatever, you know, feels right in that moment. Showers, saunas, getting into that water, right? That's going to really help uplift your energy and give you that clarity. That was a water sign. You get a lot of breakthroughs and intense healing when you are around water, especially if you have a lot of water signs, water placements in your astral chart specifically. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands with the Three of Wands coming out next with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. Now let's go ahead and talk about this Wands energy, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is fire energy. This is passion. This is ego. This is drive. This is ambition. I feel like you're definitely celebrating a victory here overall. I feel like maybe you put a little bit too much pressure on yourself for the forward thinking that you're not really giving yourself enough proper credit for everything that you have accomplished already. Okay, so this could be... a uh, really good time for you to reflect and focus on embracing the journey that you have already accomplished and everything that you already have achieved okay so make sure that you are rewarding yourself and that you are taking very good care of yourself giving yourself those spa days when you need it all right okay it doesn't have to be going out you can just do a spa day at home movies stay in right we know how much you love your house and them cozy blankets so make sure that you're enjoying yourself the three of wands with the page of wands is celebrating victories while looking into the future for the next great adventure 
However, again, we need to focus on being very patient with the Queen of Wands in reverse here, that you might not have all of the information needed to take these next steps forward, that you could be rushing yourself a little bit too much and causing too much pressure here, which is causing you not to see things clearly and see things straight. Okay. We have the justice card here, okay? So another card all about balance. We need to bring some balance to the situation. We need to look at both sides. We need to make sure that we are weighing the pros and cons before making a decision, that we are looking out for our best interests in the future and in the present, okay? So becoming who we want to be by making decisions now that are based off of, again, that future goal, okay? So being very analytical about the decisions that you're making, which is another Libra energy, okay? Air signs are very analytical very critical sometimes it can be kind of cold and cutting very well informed all about that mercury energy i do however think that libra is ruled by venus if i'm not mistaken don't quote me okay so let's go ahead and pull an oracle here for you cancer and see what other energies that we have coming out akasha <clears throat> okay so we have the guidance your guidance is being divinely guided and mirror who or what is triggering you, okay? So this resistance that you're feeling could also be some past life resistance. This could also be some energies that you haven't dealt with from this lifetime even, which is pretty much, you know, still past life. Um, I do suggest that we take some time, again, getting into the water, thinking about taking these baths, getting into the sauna, you know, shower time, really just resting and reflecting, okay? So this is where you're going to get into that Akashic Records as well, is when you're doing your meditations, is when you are not being so, putting so much pressure on yourself here, Okay. So we have love with an open heart, run free for a while, run wild for, run wild for a while, okay, which is, you know, very similar energy here. And we also have this feminine energy coming out here again with the visualized healing. So there is a lot of deep healing that is happening right now. Again, I do feel that headache energy for you coming in strong. There is a lot of pressure here in the head. Become the master that you seek, right? So definitely Cancer, you need to focus on being patient and this new moon is definitely going to cause you to be very critical of yourself, very analytical, very perfectionist, getting yourself organized and doing a lot of studies. So be patient with yourself, be kind with yourself and make sure that you are staying very, very hydrated. I will see you guys again very, very soon. If you like this reading and resonated, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, if you'd like to book with me, all of that information will be listed in the description box as well. Well, without further ado, my beautiful Cancerians, it was so good to see you guys again, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace, love, and light. Bye!